that doesn't need any captions. This is boxing at its best. Morales wins the trade and backs Maidana away. The older fighter shows greater hand speed in the exchange. Hard right hand over the top by Morales. Maybe his best punch of the fight. One thing we know for sure, blood won't stop Eric Morales. Hard right hand by Morales. Another right hand for Morales. As Cano's cuts grew worse, Morales seized the moment in round 10. There's a pair of hard right hands. And he senses that he might be able to end the fight here. Cano's face a grotesque, bloody mask, providing a target and a path toward victory for Eric Morales. Stopping it? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Rudy oh. Perez asks Kenny Bayless to stop the fight. Eric Morales has another victory, the 52nd win of his career. Just a perfectly thrown combination by Miguel Cotto. And he continues to crash away at Judah and gets the blood to flow from Judah's right eye again. Left, left, right, left to the body. Continued assault from the Puerto Rican star. Some of the most vicious exchanges we've seen in years. Hard right hand by Cotto. Thudded onto the chin of Shane Mosley. Miguel Cotto looks very sharp, very quick in yep. the early going. This is brilliant tactics by Miguel Cotto. This is ring generalship as he has trapped Claudia in the corner for nearly a full minute here. Suddenly, the Miguel Cotto of old has emerged. Margarito grinning like a jack-o'-lantern as Cotto tries to do surgery on his face. Body shots and a left hook upstairs for Cotto. And another left hook. Oh, wow. It's over. It's over. And Miguel Cotto has the technical knockout victory, which for him is sweet revenge. Cotto oh. oh. not fast enough to deal with Calzaghe's amazing speed. Calzaghe begins to hammer it home. And Fredo finally gets off a punch and then is hammered into submission against the ropes. Referee Terry O'Connor watching and watching, and he'll stop it right now. Galzaghi comes back with a left and begins to throw his arms wide and wing his punches. An occasional Calzaghi habit. Good left hand by Calzaghi. And another. And another. And suddenly, Calzaghi is landing his straight left right down the chute. Kessler gets in a right hand, but Calzaghi keeps coming. As the fight headed to the late rounds, Kalzaki's confidence continued to grow, and Hopkins had no answers. Another four-punch rally by Kalzaki. I think this guy's ready to be knocked out. Yeah. Trust me! Trust me! Trust me! Kalzaki constantly trying to apply pressures, trying to speed the tempo of the fight, trying to make the 43-year-old man fight, and now showboating around the ring. Kalzaki overcame the early knockdown and was awarded the split decision victory. Oh, what a combination by Barrera as Morales overcommitted with the right hand and Barrera hurt him badly. 
Herrera with another combination. Counts Morales back over the rope. Herrera boxing, not just waiting in. Gets to the body, wobbles down with a left hook upstairs. Round one is all Barrera. Big left hook by Barrera. Has making faces at Barrera. are landing flush. This is brilliant. Barrera stuck. Again, Barrera beating Morales to the punch. Knocks him back with the right hand. One last big left hook, and it might have been enough. They'll savagely trained until the final bell. Yes, in the eye. I'm standing up to. My God, what a fight. And now they put Barrera up on the shoulders of the men in his corner and walk him around. After winning Olympic gold, Ward began an undefeated pro career, dispatching each challenge set before him. His latest feat came at a multi-year boxing tournament, which Ward entered as an untested dark horse and exited as the unified super middleweight champion of the world. Victories over elite opposition included Miguel Kessler and Arthur Abraham, and culminated with a dominating victory over Karl Frotsch to take home the Super Six World Boxing title. By winning the Super Six, I, I think the world, they know that I'm the real deal in terms of my pedigree as a fighter. Hard right hand by Klitschko. Father Bird. He hits Bird flush with it again, and again, and again. Brings the crowd out of their seats. Right hand by Klitschko, down goes Bird. Bird badly wobbled, having trouble taking the right hand shot. There's another knockdown for Bird as Klitschko is completely dominating it. And that's the end of the fight as Bird's face is a bloody mask. And Calvin Brock has taken a beating. And a big right hand by Klitschko, and he thinks he's got Brock hurt. Vladimir going a little bit wild here and leaving himself exposed as he knocks Brock down with a right hand. And that was a huge punch. Boom! That's what heavyweights are supposed to do. After sustained punishment for the first five rounds, Klitschko knocked Rockman down in round six, and the end was in sight. He gets Hay against the ropes and lands a left and a right. And a left hook lands for Klitschko, and down goes Bulep. And now there are two knockdowns. Hard right hand by Klitschko momentarily wobbled Pulev again. A left hook and a push, and Pulev is down for the third time. Down goes Pulev on another left hook. And that may be the one from which he does not get up. He's done, and it's a fifth round KO win for Vladimir Klitschko. Vladimir Klitschko simply separated him from his senses. Pulev's brain told his legs, get up. His legs couldn't do it. Right hand by Marquez, momentarily stuns Barrera. Barrera trying to show that instinct for fighting back. That was the most eye-catching shot of the night. Another big uppercut for Marquez, snaps Barrera's head back. Uppercut for Marquez, left hook, Barrera stunned and in trouble. Wobbles back against the ropes. Marquez looking to knock his man out. There's a perfect combination by Marquez. Marquez going out on his field if he's losing and showing you all the heart that you might expect from a great, proud Mexican fighter. What guts both fighters have shown tonight. A huge uppercut. Down goes Diaz. Can he make it out of the round? Look at him go to the body to try to set up the finish, and what a right hand, and that will be that. What you just saw was a really good young fighter knocked out by a great old fighter. Absolutely. Hard right hand! With one punch. Oh! And that's another knockdown! He's not giving up. He's been knocked out! A sensational 
right hand knockout by a bloodied Juan Manuel Marquez. And that is the keystone moment of his career. What an amazing, stunning knockout performance by Marquez. Finding it harder and harder to block or duck Bernard Hopkins' shots. Hitting Oscar Deloya with virtually every power punch now. Here's Down goes goes Deloya on a body punch by Hopkins. He doesn't look Hop like he's going to get up, Hopkins. guys. He's pushing him in. Getting First time he's been knocked down in five and a half years, and he's not going to make it up. It's a Bernard Hopkins knockout of Oscar Deloya in the ninth round. Instead, in round five, it was Hopkins landing the big shot. How big a favorite did you say Tarver was, Larry? Three to one. But Hopkins continued applying pressure to the cut on Wright's left eye. Hard right hand by Hopkins. Good left hook by Hopkins. Bernard Hopkins has the faster hands. Who would have expected that? He still has the faster hands. He still dominates the center of the ring. He's still ripping Pavlik in combination and putting him on the defensive. These are some real hard shots Hopkins is landing here. Now Hopkins is doing push-ups in the ring to try to embarrass his younger opponent. Bernard Hopkins is the absolute master of craft among current boxers. He's going to make it to the bell. And if he makes it to the bell, in all likelihood, he's going to make it happen. You don't have to love him, but you must respect him. You must respect what he has done. Takes a good fighter and just takes him apart with power shots. Hard left hand, straight on the button by Pacquiao. Down goes Barrera. Marco Antonio Barrera taking by far the worst physical beating of his career. There's no way a great fighter should have to go through three more minutes of this. Barrera's corner man is up on the apron. He's, he's going to step into the ring. And he fires the straight left hand, and there's the punching power. That's the first real knockdown of Eric Morales' career. Manny Pacquiao has knocked out the great Eric Morales. And Pacquiao lands a brilliant uppercut up the middle. You might describe the first couple of rounds as shock and awe. Boom! Oh my gosh, what a straight left hand. But Cotto is back is against the rope, and he fights his way off and goes down again. And Cotto is hurt by that knockdown where he wasn't hurt by the first one. Margarito tries to press the action. Pacquiao hits a blunt with a big left hand and then flurries and backs Margarito off again. Algeri showing guts. Big guts. Pacquiao in control. There's the sixth knockdown. A lot of power. A lot of Pacquiao. Crazy blue. Like St. Elmo's fire. Love so sharp. That it's hard to know just where you have We get high Mayweather right over the top stuns Manfredi Manfredi in trouble As Mayweather pounds away Manfredi almost went down He won't take a knee but he isn't throwing back Mayweather pounding, pounding Right hand, another knockdown Fifth knockdown of the fight Ray Woods is up on the apron That's gonna be the end of the fight Right hand is solid. Combinations by Mayweather. Too much speed. Maybe too much power, too. There's a vicious right hand over the top. Good right hand by Mayweather. Valdemir getting tattooed around the head. And allowed Mayweather to close in emphatic fashion. What a left hook. And there's a knockdown on a left hook. Excellent left hook. And Marquez walked right into it. Brilliant combination by Mayweather. If that didn't hurt Marquez, I'm not sure what would. This is the kind of performance that will convince many that Floyd is still the best fighter in the world. Floyd Mayweather's skill level, Floyd Mayweather's conditioning, Floyd Mayweather's application to the sport is at this moment unique. And he stands alone.